TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. Uh, went back to Twitch, man. Um, don't forget, man, to leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, right above me, if we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is where you can catch the highlights. Don't forget, we do got merch. You get me. And we also got Patreon. We post Monday through Friday, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little heated right now, man. I wasn't paying attention and I was not recording. I got through 30 minutes of this and wasn't recording. I'm so blue. I ain't even going to lie. Uh, but for y'all, you know, I do it again, man. I digress, man. Here we go, man. This is Traffic Cops. Please, Megan, please. Yes, I thought we I'm gonna try to remember what I was saying, man. It was a this was a good reaction too, man. Jagged me. I'm blue. Scarborough, 246 AM. Bank holiday Fridays. I don't know why y'all call them bank yeah, holidays. We just call them holidays. Driver. Yeah, I've been the driver through previous for drugs. A Peugeot, uh, silver Peugeot. Early Friday morning at the start of a bank holiday weekend for the traffic cops. Now I've authorized tactics on the vehicle. The preferred tactic at this time is a box stopped with a stinger. Yeah, that's us in uh, just heading to Scarborough, also uh, on Stepney Road, uh, double crewed IPV unit. I'll say this early because I do remember I said this. The reason I'm watching this instead of police interceptors is because the old episodes of police interceptors, they get blocked. So I have to go through a whole process and it takes two, three days for it to get unblocked. And I don't, I want to give y'all something directly today. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I like traffic cops, man. We haven't watched it in a while. Traffic cops Pete Allison and Matt Harvey. No pauses until we get to where we were. Driven at a police officer and failed to stop. At, at this time, the driver could well be under the influence of drink or drugs. We have received information that there is a marker on that car linked to drugs. Does that mean the driver is automatically under? The no, influence? it doesn't. Perhaps not, but putting two and two together, that's probably the uh, the reasonable assumption at this point. Oh, yeah. I beg to differ. You know what I'm saying? Two plus two is not four all the time. In this equation, it's more like two times two divided by four plus the square root of nine. Coming in on a bank holiday is a bit like what we say when we come in to do a night shift and it's a full moon. You can more or less guarantee there's going to be extra work. Ten miles away, an unmarked police car spots the Peugeot. Matt, Pete, and the other traffic cars race to join the pursuit. Next left. We need some stingers in front of us, don't we? This all of a sudden has been notched up a level. Here we have a unknown driver in a car in the early hours of the morning who has driven at a police officer. Two seven one behind you. Oh, I didn't hear that the first time. They driven at up like playing what? chicken with a cop. Like, you're a dummy. You're going to jail. Is someone making that decision? They're either intoxicated by drink or drugs. Is it some criminality going on? We don't know. We need to be finding and stopping the driver. The now, at this point, it's two plus two equals four. You know, the equation is a lot simpler. You're a dummy. You're, you're off something if you try and play chicken with a cop. Something not right there. We hear on the radio that this car is in the same street that we're on. We know we're not behind it, so this thing has to be coming towards us. We're now the third car in this pursuit. We're constantly thinking about how we can safely bring this to an end and positioning other resources. There's no point just driving around after this car. Uh, the carrying 
down, so when it gets to the convoy, they will not be able to use this thing. That's all scattered. Yeah. One of our colleagues uh, positions himself further up, up the road. And thankfully, the car turns left towards the stinger. Just taking chances. It's crazy how the police be predicting which way the route, which route y'all are going to take when y'all are running. 80, 90, 95 mile an hour in a 30. 95 in a 30. Plus driving. Got her! You don't have any tires, you don't have any air, just stop, it's done. So this is what I said when I was doing this, I said, yo, I bet y'all any amount of money, all, after all of this, I bet you any amount of money they get less than tw a year. Yes, less than a year, they probably won't even get a year, probably a year suspended sentence. If I win, you gotta hit the like button. If I lose, y'all do tell me to do something in the comments, and whatever gets the most likes, I'll do it if it's reasonable. Cause I don't believe they're gonna get any time for this. Go again, stop. Yeah, yeah, stop. It's too nice in the UK. Go Break the window. Hey, hey, on right. my life, this is no more less funny than it is the first time I've seen it. Shorty is too worried. First of all, this is a girl. I have never seen a girl take the police on a high speed ever in the history of, of, of me seeing high speeds in real life or on TV. It's never been a thing. Then she worried about her dog. You worried about the wrong thing. Why would they it hurt the dog? That we've gone in hard, but we need to get that driver out of that vehicle and detained. It was only a matter of hours ago that they'd made a decision to drive at offices. It's scared to death. Will you please let me see the dog? The dog is fine. Is right. It, will you please take him home? He's my friend's dog. To my absolute amazement, it's a female driver. From a cop's point of view, we would expect... And why is you taking your friend's dog? Like, for what? Like, are you... Go buy your own dog. Now look what you done got your friend's dog into. Now what if you a dog mom, you a dog auntie, what if they call social services or something? That's like, go home. a male or a group of Brenda? males driving that vehicle. We do deal with female drivers in these situations, but it's rare. Right, sir, so listen to me. Yeah. Why are so many businesses... I've never seen this before. I've never seen a female do a high speed. See, so you're under arrest with dangerous drivers. And fail, fail to stop the police. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention one question, oh, yeah, yeah. something which you relate to a lady court. Anything you do say may be given to them. It's just stop. Yeah, but we can you see my dog, please? It's my friend's dog. Can you please let me see the dog? The dog's absolutely the dog. fine. He's just sat in the back of the car. He'll be terrified. He's shaking already. Please, can I see? Why wasn't you worried about that when you was taking him on a 90 mile and a 30? That dog could have been hurt seriously. We ain't even worried about you. We worried about the dog. Dog in the back seat looking like I'm a good boy. All he wants is a, a a pedigree treat or something. You know what I'm saying? A piece of chicken or something. He's a dog. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm a. You can sit off. Right, See, turn around. Ah, why are you tickling me? You're not. Right. Don't worry. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Your dog's there. Yeah, but can you please stay there? Let me see it? No. All she seemed to be going about was the welfare of the dog, which was. In look at look at Fido in the back, chilling. Is that a piece of doo doo next to him? Is that doo doo? Was she thinking that when she was driving at ninety mile an hour through the streets? I'm not too sure. Please, let me see the dog. Please, let me 
we see the, the dog? dog is fine. Right, please, can you get the ornament of the dog on the floor? We'll sort that. There's a lot of gear in there, isn't there? Wow. Hey, you're Poor little lad. There's a poo on back, back seat. <laughs> it's a lovely dog, that. Beautiful. driving I'm gonna require you to provide me a specimen of breath. Man, they're not fun to listen to you about this dog. Yeah, that's fine. When was the last time you had anything to drink? You see me just have a drink there. What's, what's in the bottle there? Wine. You see me just, as you pull, as I pulled over, you see me grab the bottle didn't you and drink it. Have y'all ever seen the movie Set It Off? Like with Queen Latifah and them? If not, y'all need to watch it. It's a hood classic. Um... This is like when, when, when a certain scene happened and the police were surrounded, one of them, and they just opened a drink and just took it to the head. It's if someone me has a drink, we have to wait 20 minutes before we can do the roadside procedure. So she's bought herself 20 minutes, but that's all she's bought herself. Have you had anything else? Any drugs? No. Do you use drugs? Yeah. What do you use? Cannabis. That's she should have said no. Test, then we can do that with you. So she's been locked up currently for felt stop and I just drive him. Yeah. Uh, she was drinking out the bottle there, so we have to wait for that. So I'm going to do a, drug, a drugs test. She is a user of cannabis. In the back of the car was a uh, beagle dog, uh, only a young beagle dog. And this vehicle's been driven at very high speed, it's been driven erratically. Dog just want to go home, you know what I'm saying, to his little dog bed or whatever. Dangerously. PC Mike Rowan checks on the puppy. Apart from being very shaken, uh, it doesn't seem to have that many bad injuries apart from some trauma to its right eye. Uh, there's a what looks like a blood blister to its eye. I don't know where that's historic, so uh, the dog's on its way to the vets just to uh, get checked over. If it's found that it's historic and uh, this lady hasn't done anything to treat it, uh, then we'll be having some uh, words with her uh, once she's sobered up to uh, ask her why she, why she caused such unnecessary suffering to a dog. Because of your manner of your driving and because you're admitting you're a cannabis user, I'm going to require you to pro provide me a sample of saliva. Yeah. I'm not bothered, I just want to see that dog. So can you please see the dog? Hmm? Can you please see the dog? Listen, I mean, you had your chance to look after your dog, didn't you, before you were driving around like a, like a bloody dog. woman yeah, possessed around the bloody town? Like she need to let this dog conversation go. You're not seeing it. Get you're not seeing it. Well, we got we'll that. Go that, that it's in the dog's best interest that y'all stay apart because you obviously are tweaking. <laughs> Wanted to get away from us to look after the dog. How does that work? Because I know I'd get nicked. The dog's fine. A vet's been called for the dog. Vet? Why? And this right here is my problem with pet owners. You know what I'm saying? Especially dog moms. Like, this is your logic? Oh, I got to get away from them so I can get them home and take care of the dog. Like, what are you talking about? Stupid. Because <laughs> we have to put it somewhere safe, don't we? We're just going to look after it. Mm. The roadside test, uh, despite saying that she'd been smoking cannabis, didn't actually show any trace for cannabis. But what it did do, it showed a positive reading for cocaine. Uh, section mm. four. Got you. So my bad for coming at dog moms. My, that's my fault. Dog parents. This is a drug addict. She's off that booger sugar. That's what made her do this. This is what got her tweaking, talking about dog this, dog that. Girl, you was one line away from doing dog. <laughs> like, come on, chill out. Uh, which is unfit. Dog is H, if, if y'all don't know the lingo. Through drink or drugs, and you've also provided a positive sample of cocaine at the roadside, so you are under arrest for section 5A as well. All right? If this wasn't a phenomenal episode, I would have been done. I wouldn't even have redid it. But this right, is a we'll good episode. This all started. I want y'all to watch it with me. her vehicle at a police officer. Thankfully, he has escaped injury. But that could have gone seriously wrong. She could be looking at far worse offences than that. I mean, he could have easily been serious. She could. She could. But I guarantee you, she will get less than... She won't even get a year in jail. She won't go serve no time. She'll get out with a caution. If she gets more, like I said, man, y'all remember the bet. If she, gets le if she gets what I say, hit the like button. If she gets more than a year in jail... Because this is a jail, like, you need to go to jail. 
like, like I said, man, remember the bet. Y'all know the bet. I've already told you. So I can see that it's okay and he can see me and see that everything's okay. The dog's perfectly fine? It is. A, a, a positive resolution to this in as much as a uh, minor injury to a couple of cars uh, and she's she's now in custody. That's she got, she, she, she put a dog in danger. She tried to play chicken with a cop. She, she, there's damages on, you know what I'm saying? Several police cars, like, come on now. In America, she's doing five years. Probably the best result. <laughs> At least two. I beg to differ. They got a clue. They know exactly what's about to go on in your life. You're going to be in that jail cell. That's what's going on. <laughs> you get me. Fuck. Coming no, 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 no. Ends. For on a mission. On bank holiday weekends, the Yorkshire Dales are a magnet for tourists. With up Yorkshire to Dales. Day trippers a year heading for the hills. We got some called Wisconsin Dales. Incredibly thin. That is not what you need, is it? They should have blurred this out. This is a male. Like he got a thong on. What's going on? You ain't put no drawers on with this. Why can I see what color your cheeks are? Outraging public Pause. Give him a ticket. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Traffic cop Sergeant Pete Stringer and PC Kyle McBride are in the Yorkshire Dales for Operation Boundary, cracking down on bank holiday motoring offences. The whole county changes on a on a bank holiday weekend. You get every kind of possible road user that you could imagine from your, your pedal cyclists through to motorcyclists that may want to use it as their personal racetrack through to caravans just everything is happening everything is busy and it's just the the sheer lack of consideration amongst all the road users for other people the reason we're stopping you is because of your ridiculously small number plate could never in america our number plates is literally like this big and maybe a little tiny bit bigger but like i could this is this is cramping my little style you feel me like i, I don't blame them this is crazy i've left me uh, picture play on please don't act all surprised i've been doing this too long the games we play that's the correct size the correct font the correct color obviously you've left the film on there that as a jigsaw these need to come off because they're offensive the biggest demand every bank holiday weekend throughout the summer months is always motorcycles. One percent of road users are motorcyclists, but then they make up to um, 30 plus percent of the fatalities or the seriously injured statistics. Why even do that, though? Like, did they not realize the cop car is behind them? So our aim today is, is to try and keep people alive. It's a solid line, right? You, you know, can't do we that. We can huh? get hold of that first motorcycle that's riding antisocially uh, maybe send them back home with the tail between the legs they might pass that message on any idea why i might have stood here talking ducati here? it's an expensive bike that's one of my favorite bikes man you did mate yeah simple as that yeah the ducati 1199 no worries mate i'll have you on your way very shortly but it's also only right that we deal with people on four wheels that are committing the same offenses as those on two is your license clean and full at the moment Three points. What are you three points for? Speeding. Well, guess guess what the out. Anybody with a haircut like this, they over analyzing everything. So, believe me, I got a cut like that. So I be over analyzing stuff. So you know what I'm saying? As a cop, you're not getting away with nothing. <laughs> Who's gonna be this time? Do you wanna have a guess? Well, no. Well, I could ban you if you want, but I was thinking I was thinking another three points for speeding. Yeah. It's not about persecuting motorcyclists at all. It's about trying to make the road safer for everybody to get around. This is the one that we saw, because obviously it's supposed to be that sort of colour. It's both from an enforcement point of view, is it going to get pinged by safety camera vans? And secondly, Kyle, are you going to be long? Cause he's gonna <laughs> I told you, nobody's getting away with nothing. Bro, then blew his horn, he getting a ticket. Told you, that's the I'm not letting you slide haircut. What you talking about? 
whilst it may seem relatively small and insignificant to be prosecuted for your number plate or your exhaust being too loud. You beeped at me. Why? Sorry, I wouldn't. Well, well, it's going to cost you. Yeah. Yeah. Later on, that person fixes that defect. They're more likely to be compliant with the other laws of the road. So a little thing leads on to bigger things. And now we're into the office. He's a try hard. Operation, the officers spot a speeding rider. That's definitely going for some. I don't think he was speeding. He's going into a turn. He had to slow down. Like My name is Gabby. I don't think dude was speeding. They was reaching. No MOT since the 11th of April, this one. That's a tax, right? MOT. Right. So before we go any further, I'm going to caution you. Yeah. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when question something which you later allow in court. Okay. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Yeah. Any idea why we might be stopping talking to you? That's one. North. Two. Keep going. Speed. Right. Absolutely screaming up. Bro, I feel like right here they would have gave him like only two tickets. They might not even have said nothing about the exhaust. If they would have said any idea why we're pulling you over, I would have said no. Because now I feel like you just got an extra ticket. But they do got Mr. Hair Mr. Officer with the haircut, the try hard officer, so the road. you might not have got it's away. A 50. Do you know how fast you were going? No, no. Well, we had to do 100 just to keep up with you. Good. All right. So, yeah, full house. It's the first time we've been out since right. about December. Like, I should have checked. It's my fault. It's my yeah, fault. yeah. I'm not, I'm not. So what are you intending to do now, Bernie? Yeah, turning back and going back. If I knew, Good I, knew I wouldn't have been out on it. 100%. I didn't know. Straight home? Yeah. Nice and Absolutely. All right. No worries. Thank you, guys. The rider is reported for a number of... What kind of bike is that? But as Pete and Kyle pull away, they spot another it Looks like a tixie, man. Here's my thing, like, what is this right here? Right here. This is for overtaking, right? There's no solid line, these arrows. It makes it look like it's for overtaking. So why not overtake right here? He won't be able to help it. And why cross two solid lines right here? You're a dump. Like, this is stupid. You had an opportunity. The road gave you an opportunity. And you squandered it. <laughs> Monitoring this uh, motorcycle in front that was doing 70 and a 50, um, just as we came around the corner. He's doing a dash, he's not stopping. You can see it's uh, solid white, um, and he's overtaken a VW Polo, contravening the solid white lights. 100%, I guarantee almost, like, this is what I said last episode. I'm just repeating when I was watching it before. I guaranteed I said he had headphones or he had a Senna, so he cannot hear them. He cannot hear them behind him. System. Yeah, he's obviously not paying any attention. Um, because at the moment, he's uh, not stopping. Currently failing to stop. I haven't seen him look in his mirrors once, but the sirens and... Uh, yeah, we're continuing 7-0. Already been wrong side of the lights. Turn it off now! The bloody hell are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Get off the bike! Get off. Ah, there we go. 
there's the headphones and i was right when i watched it i was like yeah especially with these headphones in an iphone on full blast you cannot hear the road you that you can't hear nothing you can't hear anything and you like in america you're not supposed to wear headphones like these on the bike if it, if your helmet come, if you got a center center is the headset where you can communicate with other riders or you can play music like those yes you can still hear because they cut off. If, like they cut off, like it gets loud or something's going on. Before we go any further, you cautioned, okay? You don't have to say anything, but it may harm any defence. Just listen to me. Yes. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm any defence. You're not mentioned one question. Something which later caught anything you say may be in Evans. I've been trying for miles to stop you. Why haven't you stopped? Before you get yourself arrested, why did you not stop? I haven't seen you. Why didn't you see me? Because I've been looking in the mirrors. So you're admitting you care to me, is that what you're saying? No, 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 that's not what's happening. Like, I, this is what I said before I said, yo, the way this road he's on is set up, there's no reason for him to look in his rear view. There's one lane going this way, and there's one lane going this way. It's not like it's a dual lane road where two lanes are going this way and two lanes are going this way, and I need to check to make sure nobody's next to me and like I see it I see people coming forward like me playing me being on his side like I I, I, I there's no reason for me to check my rear view take your helmet off take your helmet off what I'm bothered about is the manner of your riding yeah I don't think I was riding at all you're doing 17 of 50 in the Lancashire bit you then come into North Yorkshire and overtake on solid white lines. That's offence number two. Yeah, okay. I've informed my control room that I've got a motorcycle failing to stop because I'm sat behind you with my blues and twos on for miles. Do you want to continue this conversation at custody? No, thank you. Are you known to the police? I'm not known to the police, no. So why aren't you checking your mirrors like a careful and competent rider? Because I just set off on a nice ride. It was a nice day. And I right. I'm sorry. And you're exempt from the law because? Look. I've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. I accept that. Please. Well, you've committed three offences, yeah? Please take whatever action you're going to do. Okay. okay. Well, we will do. No, nah, no cap. Like, I hate when police try to act, lecture me. Like, okay, I, you, I, you pulled me over. We don't need to talk about it. I'll take the ticket. Come on. <laughs> like, stop talking to me. Just do the ticket. Well, I'll admit that is your you're opinion. taking over a white line. Which is but against the law. It is against the law. You're right. I had a good visual sight. You were, you were also. No, 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 no. It it's against the law. Okay. So what about the speeding? You're also speeding. I thought it was 60 mile an hour. It's an A road. 60. Mile this is an hour. 60. Back where you overtook was a 50. Well, I'm sorry. The, the speed. I, right. I again. It was a 50. Again. Following on from that, we've then followed you for some time. Blue lights and sirens. We've been trying to get your attention the Fine. real ticket they should give them is but a headphones you're not supposed to have them in in america you're not i don't know about that left and right behind you have we've I, been sounding the horn had my music on right no, but you're still supposed to be able to hear what's going on around you well, aren't you be able to hear because you other, the otherwise the motorbike. right that's cap you can hear over the sound of the engine to be i think by the real aim of this is these two policemen are out to catch a motorbike motorcyclist you're entitled to your opinion you two got out of that vehicle was so aggressive i do agree about that they did get out super aggressive but you got to think though they do have a reason to get out they were following you for two miles with blue lights and sirens on you did not stop they thought you was a runner so of course they're gonna get out super aggressive because you'd Nobody failed you'd failed yeah, to yeah. stop yeah. You failed to stop. I ran over to you. I commanded I'm you seeing both sides here. And I took the keys out. I thought I shot someone. We haven't made any comment on who you are as a person. When you got out of the car, you thought I was some nasty we, criminal we'd trying followed. to get away with no insurance. But how do I know? Way. How do I know? How do I know who you are until we've got you stopped? The who, fact that you who, failed to stop Whoever you police. approach as a policeman, you should not do right. it in that angry, right. nasty attitude. I want you to listen to me, please. I'm listening. What we're doing today is trying to keep the roads safe for everybody. The roads are going to be busy, and OK? You, Whether you're on to... Listen to me, and then you can have your say. If you keep interrupting me, it's going to take us a lot longer, isn't it? OK? okay? Yeah. So I'm patrolling one of the roads where, statistically, we have most accidents with motorcycles, yeah. OK? That lad that we were at that junction when you came past us. We're gonna have another if we don't move. But again, it's your fault that we stopped here, yeah? It'd be your fault if no, it was an accident. No, it won't. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. The length, the length of his blink, just let you know there's some pride on the table right here. It'd be your fault because at this moment you could tell him to move, 
He can roll the bike wherever you want him to roll it. <laughs> like, it's a two in the way. I've seen other cops do it. Be awesome. So, we're dealing with that other motorbike that was doing best five 100 with three fences. So you're not going to listen to me? Okay. You'll get your, pa you'll get your paper to the post. I'm not going to talk over you. You're reporting for failing to stop for police, excess speed, contravening double white lines, and obviously for failing to stop. Sorry, officer. That's your fault. Right. But if you're going to let me talk, I'm trying to save people's lives today. That is why I'm here. Putting people's lives in danger. Well, driving at excess speed, yes. Contravening solid white line system. Yeah, we're getting towards dangerous riding, aren't we? You keep talking and we can take your licence off, yeah? I did that, yeah. Yeah, you did. OK. Any further questions? No. You'll receive a summons through the post. I look forward to seeing you at the Magistrate's Court. OK, thank you very much. Please don't ride like that again. I think what a lot of people don't realise that being allowed to use the roads is a, is an entitlement rather than a than a given right. And like I said, man, realistically, anybody with one of these attached to their bike right here, they're not running from you. They're not running. Thing <laughs> forty. You need to make sure that you've got your attention focused at all times on what you're doing, so that you don't kill or seriously injure yourself or somebody else. You know, your life can change literally in the blink of an eye. <clears throat> Just the whole manner of his ride, right. even his attitude when he had eventually been stopped by us. Couldn't hear you, couldn't see you. Well, careful and competent rider would be checking the mirrors very frequently. Clearly, he could have heard the siren if he'd actually bothered listening. He could have seen us in his mirrors. He just couldn't. He's not wrong about that either. Like, there's a lot of riders out there that check anyway. Like, me, I. <clears throat> I check my mirrors very often, so I would have seen him. But but I can see why he didn't look at his mirrors also. Bothered. My whole reason for going to work over the bank holiday weekend was to, to simply try and keep people alive. If by clamping down... Or so you had the option to go to work or stay home with your family? And you chose to go to work? I told y'all, bro, there's no life in the job. You like you know them dudes that sit on Call of Duty and got nothing better to do that just no life the game that are the greatest of the greatest of players and they just this is him salute though on the smaller things impacted on how they rode later on then that was job done to me. Coming up. This gotta be a bank holiday special or something. That's what I'm gonna title this. Traffic cops, bank holiday special. Yep, we're just getting our part of a two vehicle RTC on person is injured. Other vehicles unknown. We have got an ambulance heading towards. What's probably a 4 2 update? Yeah, two vehicle collision. Still awaiting the baby guard injuries. 4 2 received. Should be just up here and left. In North Yorkshire, traffic cop sergeant Julian Pearson is well into his bank holiday shift. I don't look forward to working bank holidays because it's going to be busy. There's probably there you go. That's the answer. I don't look forward to it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not low life. You're not no life in. Going to be a serious working, but you're not no life in it. You're going to have drink and drugs. It's probably some of the local. The information I've received on the radio is that two vehicles have had a collision. The driver of a Suzuki has run off. So straight away you're thinking, there's a drink involved, there's drugs involved, there's criminality involved, and there's a runner from a car. So you want to get there as quickly as you can because you want to apprehend the individual that might have crashed into an innocent member of the public. I can't let this one out, bro. Who's the car come back to then? Damn! Yo! Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Jesus! Look. Yeah, it's locked up. Right. Uh, I've got a lady in the club and they with pelvic injury. Right. That pelvic injury is serious. You got to get her to the hospital. You can have internal bleeding. Anything with the pelvis is very going to be real serious. I watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Doctor Who. If you leave her with us, do you want to scoop around there and see if he's gone? Because he's probably gone home, hasn't he? They say this is locked up. Leave physically locked and what's she saying? To be honest, she's in that much pain at the moment. She's complaining of pelvic injuries. Because when it's like concern is, that's quite cold. 
Yeah, I'm wondering if that's been parked. And yeah, oh, she's hit it. Yeah, that's what. Ah, uh, right. right. There's a dry patch behind her. Yeah, because that, that, that hasn't been driven there. The discs are quite cold. That's great so police she's, work. She's hit that part up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that, that's it. Yeah, so, so, so no, His like, vest is too tight. Did it have the. So it didn't take a lot to work out what had happened, which then meant we could scale back what we were going to do because we weren't looking for a runner from a car, we were looking for the one person that was still in that car. Yeah, she's, she's driven into it, haven't she? Yeah, I, I, that's been stationary, that's, that's been unattended, that, because it's clapped cold. Is any, any spells? I can't tell, simply because Two. Oh, okay. The uh, lad in the back, he's well oiled and he, he, he reeks a drink. And the girl in the front passenger seat, she's had a good skin full as well. So the This is my question. Like, why not just say they both have been drinking well oiled? Ain't that a little zesty? He's well oiled. Like, what are we talking about here? And then she's had a skin full. A skin full of what? I'm out here decoding the lingo, like, just say they're drunk. The smells are strong. Got you. With this individual, it was very clear that they were intoxicated. You could tell. You could smell it. But you've also got to consider, is there a medical episode? I've seen this part as well. Sometimes We're almost, smelly. we're almost, where I, I, I noticed that I didn't, wasn't recording. I was, at the 29 mark of the video, I noticed I wasn't recording. We're at 2732. Symptoms of intoxication or other things are going on. I think she's smashed. She's just smashed, isn't she? <laughs> we'll have to breathalyze oh, her, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, she's just hit it. Because she's obviously been to some kind of party, actually, because she's got the little hula hula thing on her neck. Uh, no, there was no runner. Um, it's somebody who's had a few too many sherbets that's. Um, <laughs> Driven Ain't it. that what Dale be drinking from uh, Only Fools and Horses? He was drinking a little tropical sherbet drink. Little fat cow and shunted it 50 yards. So Zuka was parked as it should be on the side of the road. She's hit it, as you can see, with some considerable force. That's forced it from there to there, um, which would suggest she's either planted a foot on it as an auto and launched it, and she's either just setting off or she's just coming home, because she lives there, and the person she's hit lives next door but one. Good morning, right now. Right, 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 Can you tell me what's happened? Just go on either side, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. This freaky episode. What's she? She moaning kind of crazy. What do you think? She just got a broken rib. Only stunts her. Yeah, nothing. Um, I don't think she's got any injuries at all. Yeah. Well, the the stories swapped and changed. So when I was in the car with her. It went from that side to that side to there to back to there. That was the first thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, and, too. And, and, and intoxicated. Yeah. On the back. It's probably just she shot. Told us that she's had this pain for like one week, two weeks. Right. So we had to. Hold on. Oh, let me. I'm gonna let it play, but I've seen this already. So give me one second. What pain is new tonight? And the story is changing. It's, it's, it's not consistent. Put it that way. She had no real comprehension of what she'd done and was giving the paramedic a hard time. She said this is a grand car. This is where I left off, right here. Yeah, got a little bit of a dress, don't they? You're frustrated, but you're oh, hang, probably angry, is, is probably the right word, because ultimately she has made a conscious decision to get into a car that doesn't even belong to her, but belongs to her grandma, and drive from a party, not round the corner, but from another town. Back Dang, she was, no, no, for real, bro. RIP to my boy, Webson, man. He just lost his life. Unfortunately, he was, he was, you know what I'm saying? He was a little intoxicated. He driving from 
Indiana back to Chicago and lost his life. Do not drink and drive, bro. If you don't have money to take an Uber to go out, then don't go. It's not smart. If you get drunk while you're out, take an Uber, come back, get your car. It's 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 it, it, the the chances that you're taking, it is not worth it. To a home address. Yeah, it's a picture. Yeah, it's a picture. So we've just done a breathalyzer sample in the back of the ambulance, which has failed. Obviously, yeah, it's 102 okay. reading, which is way over the limit. She explained to me there she had three glasses of wine prior to coming out. So yeah, she was ultimately under arrest. Um, due to injury, she's going to go to hospital. So, all right, no more pauses. Let's get it. At all. The driver is nearly three times over the limit. This fine specimen's blown 102 roadside. I'm not going to try and start. It's highly likely the insurance company won't pay out. They'll pay out for that car, but they won't pay for that one. Of course she's, not, she's drunk. But she can't be covered, can you, if he's driving illegally. So this individual has probably written a grandma's car off and written a neighbor's car off. And all of that is a conscious act. You know, when she had options available to her, such as taxi, stop at somebody's house instead of coming home, all of it was preventable. It just I agree. Happen. She's when police, this is the only like thing, like when police pull over drunk drivers, hey, it is what it is, man. I salute it. Get them. Taking up space at hospital, which is completely unnecessary. All because she chose to go out. Trust me. Rather than my homeboy passing away, I, I wish a police officer would have pulled him over and took him in for a DUI. And not pay probably 20 quid to get a taxi home. I have no sympathy at all. And, and Not saying that him being drunk was the reason, because it was other things that were going on, but, like, it would have stopped it. It would have saved his life. She's... R.I.P. my dog, though. ...put herself into a hospital situation where they're already stretched and they don't need people like her in there. So whatever's going on in their life doesn't excuse what she's done tonight. It's just so utterly selfish i know the impact that people like her have on society it just destroys lives and it is not acceptable ready to grow hey, they ain't they giving it up wow are these commercials these perfect commercials Over the bank holiday, there is a 20% rise in road collisions. Any second now, we should... Who it is? And with record numbers of visitors coming to the Yorkshire Dales, it's a busy time for traffic cops like Emma Wallace. Yeah, we've come in to village. Whereabouts are you? Ten for that, we should be with you shortly. We are going to a collision two vehicles involved, two walking wounded, and one person is allegedly trapped in uh, in one of the cars. 4 to 8, myself from 15, 10 to 6. There aren't many days go by when there's not a need for us to go to collisions. <sighs> Oopsie. When you get certain calls, your brain starts ticking over the, the what ifs and what you might need. And There's another one, man. Out. This could be innocent, though. Oh. I'm your first driver in the first vehicle, is the one that's more injured than anyone else. But I'm not concerned over anything major. They've both been out and walking. Right. I thought there was two walking and one trapped. Uh, as far as I know, there's only two patients. I've so certainly... who's trapped? No one's trapped. Initial call. Real bro. Was that the van driver was trapped. But just hadn't just, got out. It was just hadn't got out. Man. Another right. head on collision? So, uh, so you're not, you've got no concerns. Jesus. Somebody grabbed the wheel. This is crazy. This right here, this hit different. Thumbnail. Got it. No major concerns, no. Um, That's crazy. Do you want to breathalyze and we'll sort out recovering? I'll take some photos. Is that all right? Yeah, Look at the engine. Oh, man. Um, we have one casualty who has some bruising, and the other one may have a uh, 
a break to the hand, but that's uh, yet to be determined. Um, both were walking wounded. There is nobody trapped. I'm just going. Yeah, both of them is told up. We'll go and see what they've got to say for themselves. Are you my van driver? Ah, yeah. What happened? The lady from the van is basically saying she's seen something, believe possibly a pheasant, coming to run out in front of her. At which point she's swerved, and then she's looked up and seen the other vehicle swerving. So whether the other vehicle has been swerving to avoid the same pheasant, or whether the other vehicle has been swerving to avoid the van that swerved onto her side of the road, yet to be decided. One of my colleagues is just going to see. Unfortunately, y'all, a lot of animal lovers is not going to love what I'm about to say. But if some run in the road, don't swerve it. It got it. This let nature take its course. Let nature take its course. Got to be careful or than that. That pheasant would have been pheasant soup messing with me. I ain't even going to hold you because I'm not swerving it. I'd rather take that little mild injury. Go fix my little whip. Insurance going to fix it. Now you in the back of the ambulance. Yeah, injured. Going to hospital. Total but, um, two cars. We so. can catch up with you later because ultimately getting you to hospitals. Main thing. We'll sort your car out. Swear for a pheasant. Right. Pheasants may cause some damage, not that much. Facts. The breath test is negative, but an investigation will have to wait as there's another urgent call. Renault 7-2. Stick reports of a bump up at Castleton area. Appreciate it's the way out if you start making. It's come to us from the ambulance. We've got a motorcyclist who's a party company with his vehicle. It's come in from ambulance. Single vehicle, serious injury collision, uh, and basically he is said to have gone off the road, off a fifth and down a, a fifteen foot drop. And the road that it's on, I'll be surprised if it's only fifteen foot. North Yorkshire's. When I first started riding my motorcycle, it's a highway in, in Chicago with a huge curve, and I didn't know how to take a turn yet. If I wouldn't have stopped in time, I would have, I wouldn't be here because I would have fell off that joint. Very popular for motorcyclists. We've got some gorgeous, long, windy open roads that just lend themselves nicely to being on a motorbike. But um, motorbikers are a very vulnerable road user. If they get knocked off, we are more likely to be looking at serious injury. Thought so, I'm going to state six. Right. Hiya. Oh, That's a dirt bike too. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, so when I see a biker that's 15 foot down an embankment, the drop off down the embankment, it's a hell of a drop for anybody. I'm trying to locate where I can get down the bit of, the, of an embankment to, to where he is. Has he come off here? Has he come off a bit further up? In which case, I swear I thought that was going to be a further drop. The way she just set up like that. Don't set that. That that. Come on now. You could have just leaped up off of there. Yes, it's been even more of a a drop for him. But um, you it's know, a drop he's, for him. You could have leaped. He's, he's conscious. He's breathing. He's communicating, which is good. He broke something. Let me just update my control room that you're conscious and breathing. Oh, you're trying to get some insurance. Apologies, yeah. comms are a bit poor here. Yeah. He's conscious yeah, yeah, and breathing. Yeah. He's complaining of back pain, but ambulance are on route. He's just, he's just, on, um, he's just on the phone to him. Just whilst he's on the phone to ambulance, were you in front or behind no, him? Behind. And from your perspective, what's happened? Uh, he's, he's come up me ill, and I think he just weren't expecting where, where to the corner. What, oh, and, and it breaks, and obviously it's on lovely tyres, so it just skidded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hit the gravel. Just gone. Yeah. Uh, so have you been uh, going uh, that way? Yeah, we've come up this way, yeah. Right. Yeah, once you hit sand, gravel, loose rocks. Heroic. Just a few of the words. It's pretty much over with, man. You're going down. <laughs> no ambulance is available on a busy bank holiday. A paramedic checks on the patient by phone. Right. You're looking at your time to do that from your neck to your, to your, uh, to your neck to your waist, fine. And if you can see it, any pain down that, down the... No, I don't feel no pain on that. We're going any lower. Have you any tingling sensations in your legs at all? No, 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 fine. 
Yeah, you look feel, you know, legs feel, don't look feel numb at all. No, I've had a lot of metal. Yeah. Right, stand up. Yeah, roll on tall balls for me to be nice and solid. And use the wall, use the wall tonight. He gonna feel all of this tomorrow. If I was him, I'd go to a hospital. And do one, do one leg at a time. When you're on all fours, do one leg at a time. And try to just put yourself to your feet on it. Still got adrenaline running through him. Oh. How's that? Painful. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's up now. Well, how's you feeling? Uh, all right, apart from just a little bit winded. I'm more no surprised to be fair. And how's the bike looking? Uh, no, that's why you keep your helmet on, man. Uh, it's, it's all right. They're just a couple of crap pieces of plastic, nothing major. Okay. And how fast would you think you were going when you come off your bike? Between 30 and 40 or something, I don't know. Oh, 40, 45, yeah, something like that. Oh, he's a bit going fast. Qu are you queasy or, or, or dizzy or. Take a seat, buddy. Is it? Get into it. Are you feeling dizzy at the minute? Is it? Yeah, it's. it's, it's Do you want to just. Funny. Just balance yourself against there? Balance yourself against there, you'll be fine. <laughs> I would have never stood up. Ready? Yeah. Y'all would have had to come get me. <clears throat> um, I'll need a breath kit at some point if you can bring one, bring one down. Ultimately, first off is the biker's welfare, and then I can sort out what I need to sort out once he's dealt with, because his medical needs are are the priority. So, other than battered and bruised, and are you feeling worse as time goes on? He says he feels better. Yeah. He feels, he feels Right, all I need you to do is take a deep breath. Wow, he done knocked the wind out of his body. How are you going to do that? That's it. That should come back zero because I've had tough today. Yeah. That's come back as zero. That's what we're like. Right, doing all right in a minute. We've got to get you out of here next. You wanted me to do that in a minute then? Like the hat off the edge? If we go around there, where there's a public right. footpath, how's that look? Don't make to carry a bag or anything. We came up the hill and then he went to break and back wheel just locked up and he just slid all away. Yeah, he on a dirt bike, ain't no ABS on that joint. The bike got stuck on that little bush there and he fell down. Set up the hours. Oh. This is your bike cool. A friend is on the way to take the biker to hospital. Good to go. Yeah. yeah. You can hang around with him. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. yeah. So just Make sure you do go to hospital. I know you might feel a bit better later on. You just, you've obviously taken a big tumble down there, even if you, you know, you're back. You're going to be massively winded yeah, and you're as well. Yeah, you're quite a guy. Just, just get checked out, just to be safe. You know, safe side. No worries. All right, take it easy. See you later. I think the one thing to take away from that is that lad needs to put some lottery numbers on. Facts. He has been incredibly lucky. He's been very fortunate to miss the massive tree stump that was there yeah that could have been very different so um it's been very lucky god did in this episode okay here we go here we go uh, uh, everybody's bets placed The driver who failed to stop with her friend's dog in the car in Scarborough has been ordered to court for assault on an emergency worker, failing to stop, dangerous and drug driving, no license and no insurance. About the dog. No action was taken for failing to provide and supply of Class A drugs or animal cruelty. Wait, we don't get to... Wait! Come on now. Y'all might as well hit the like button because y'all know just like I know that it ain't happening. Yeah, I know. They didn't drop the class A and animal cruelty. She's she's getting a caution. Drunk party goer who crashed into a parked car was released from hospital later that morning. So it's 102. And went straight to jail. She's been charged with drink driving and is due to appear in court. On a bank holiday, we want people to enjoy themselves. We want people to have fun, but there's a line, and that line has to be if you're taking drugs or or drinking, you shouldn't be driving afterwards. Because we know what's going to happen. There is only likely to be one outcome, and it's never Agreed. Pretty. 
Some people make it home and some people don't. don't. And they'll either fall off the road, run somebody over, hit something, and oh we have God. to come along with the ambulance service and pick up the pieces. The reason we're stopping you is because of your ridiculously small number plate. Operation Boundary resulted in over 100 motorists prosecuted for a variety of offences, including no tax, speeding, failing to stop, and drink and drug driving. The bloody hell are you doing? doing Get that? off the bike. Get off. The irate biker was summoned to court for crossing double white lines. Irate? I don't think he was that irate. <laughs> speeding and failing to stop. I've been trying for miles to stop you. Why haven't you stopped? Uh, clueless. He's pleaded not guilty, and the case against him was dropped due to evidential difficulty. <laughs> Salute, W Biker. The other rider has also been reported to court for no MOT, displaying an incorrect registration plate, using a loud exhaust, absolutely screaming up the road, and speeding. Zero tolerance. They all got dealt with. You know, it's a personal ambition to, to try and save lives, to make sure that nobody else unnecessarily suffers or that I have to knock on her another loved hard. one's door and tell them that, unfortunately, you know, their husband, wife, daughter isn't, isn't coming home again. I'm trying to save people's lives today. That is why I'm here. There were no fatalities throughout the bank holiday weekend. Watched it twice for y'all. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notice. I'm gone.